Hey, do you know why we need to know so much about stats and psychology? I mean, isn't psychology about knowing how people work? I don't want to compute stuff. I just want to figure out why people do what they do. You mean stuff like figuring out the relationship between what they think and how they act? Or perhaps you are interested in predicting someone's future behavior or choices? Yeah, that sounds more like psychology. So, are there any statistical techniques for figuring out how, let's say, um, music and studying predicts how well you do on a test? Or the relationship between multiple variables? Yeah, come to think of it, that sounds like regression. Great, so how exactly does regression work? Well, when you conduct a simple regression, you are trying to figure out the average relationship between two variables. It can help you use a known score to predict the score of another. I guess regression can help you use someone's weight to predict their height, or use someone's GPA to predict their future earning capacity. So when you conduct a regression, does it give you some sort of formula for transforming one variable into the other variable? That's one way of thinking about the regression line. Regression line? I thought you got an equation at the end. Yeah, but the equation is actually an equation for lines and comes in the form y equals mx plus b. Why does the equation describe a line? Regression is the center line of a bivariate distribution. The line describes the average relationship between two variables. Oh, so you can use that line to make a one-point best prediction of one of the variables if you know the score of the other variable. For instance, you can go along the x-axis to find one score and then find out where that score crosses the regression line. That should be your prediction for the score on the y-axis variable. The one-point best prediction part sort of reminds me of the mean. Yeah, regression is a lot like the mean. The mean is the measure of essential tendency for a univariate distribution, whereas regression is the measure of central tendency for the relationship between two distributions. Both of them are measures of central tendency to provide the single best prediction for either one, mean, or two, regression. I can almost imagine it in my head. So, the mean is the middle point of a frequency distribution made up of just one variable. But the regression line is the middle line of a scatter plot that shows you the distributions of two variables simultaneously. I think you understand regression. But if you understand regression, you also need to take correlation into account. You mean it's not enough to describe the average relationship of two variables as a line? What more could there be? Well, all distributions have natural variability. Although you can predict someone's height given their weight, you won't be able to predict it exactly. You want to know how strong the relationship is, because the stronger the relationship, the more useful it is for making more exact predictions. Oh, can't we use correlation to describe the strength and direction of a relationship between two variables? Doesn't correlation just mean that two variables are related in some way, like height and weight are correlated? Well, that's the way people use it commonly, but the statistical definition is more restricted than that. Correlation describes how closely the values are re relative to the regression line. That, sort of, that sounds sort of like the spread of or variability. Exactly. Correlation is the measure of spread or variability around the regression line. So the data points are all pretty close to the regression line. That's a strong relationship. Yeah, that means your predictions will probably be very close to the truth. It almost seems like regression and correlation are like the two variables. Versions of mean, mean and standard, standard deviation. deviation. I was just thinking that. Regression and mean are both measures of the center of the distribution. And correlation and standard deviation are both measures of how spread out the data is relative to the center. I guess it all goes together. I hope you feel better about learning statistics in order to understand psychology. Yeah, I do. I feel a little more hopeful about how all this will come together in the